Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this is a video about mimetic hitchhiking and mimetic linkage. Genetic hitchhiking involves genes changing in frequency due to the, their proximity to other genes. Hitchhiking can involve either positive or negative selection, in other words increases or decreases in gene frequencies. Genetic hitchhiking is based on genetic linkage which is the tendency of nearby genes to be inherited together. And in cultural evolution there are corresponding effects. Mimetic hitchhiking involves memes changing in frequency due to their proximity to other memes. It's based on mimetic linkage which is the tendency of nearby memes to be inherited together. It's a commonplace observation that the proximity of two memes is correlated with the probability of them being inherited together. And this is true across a large variety of meme types. So, for example, words are more likely to be copied together the closer they are together. Image components and video fragments behave in the same way. Generally, the closer two memes are, the greater their mimetic linkage. The way in which linkage changes with distance can often be fairly easily quantified. Mimetic hitchhiking is an extremely important concept in marketing. Mimetic hitchhiking is used by marketers because they frequently face the problem of how to mimetically engineer content so that it spreads to a large number of users. Hitchhiking on an existing meme is a common solution to this problem. People attach product messages as payloads to viral videos, celebrities, beauty, news stories, humour or anything else that people spread around. When the viral content is spread, the payload is delivered to an increasingly large audience at a low cost to the marketing department. For marketers, the payload acts as a parasite on the original content. As such, there's a constant risk that the viral content will find a way to separate itself from the payload. Marketers have a range of techniques to avoid this from happening. They sometimes interleave the payload with the content. They can make the payload small, short or inconspicuous. They can transmit the payload subliminally. Or they can launch legal attacks on payload-free content. Well-known popular experts at mimetic hitchhiking include Weird Al Yankovic, the Gregory Brothers and Ray William Johnson. Mimetic linkage is generally defined in terms of a distance metric. That metric need not necessarily be spatial distance. For example, in the case of podcasts or videos, time is often the most appropriate metric to measure. Genetic linkage is always based on a spatial distance metric, however it seems inappropriate to restrict mimetic, mimetic linkage to spatial distances. Genetic linkage causes functionally dependent genes to migrate towards each other. Each gene benefits from the proximity due to the increased linkage reducing the chances of the genes being separated from one another. The result is that genes form functionally linked complexes. And in mimetics, the same effect is seen. Functionally dependent memes tend to migrate towards each other, which increases their mimetic linkage and reduces the chance of the memes being separated from one another. The result is that functionally linked memes form memeplexes. Not all hitchhiking of memes on memes qualifies as being mimetic hitchhiking. In the organic realm, a snail can hitchhike a ride on a duck's foot. However, you wouldn't normally call that genetic hitchhiking, even though, in a sense, snail genes are hitchhiking on duck genes. The term phenotypic hitchhiking seems more appropriate there. Similarly, you wouldn't normally refer to a bumper sticker on a car as a case of mimetic hitchhiking. The germline of the memes responsible for the car are in the car manufacturer's headquarters, and the germline of the memes responsible for the bumper sticker are in the sticker making factory and they might be nowhere near each other. Again, the term phenotypic hitchhiking seems more appropriate in this sort of case. Enjoy.